Hello, Five Days, Five Gays viewers. It is Thursday, at least for another hour, and you are watching Bad Gay. Sorry, I'm running a little behind today, but you know, like they said about gay people in the 80s, better late than never. <laughs> That's really not funny. I stole that from Greg Berlanti. Cue the music! But no one told me that love could end Till I gave up buying a ring and I'm too tired to lie to you. So I am so sorry that this is going to be a little wobbly. Um, I actually left my camera at the theater, so I'm doing this on my iPhone. So it's like retro bad gay. Ooh. But to answer our topic for this week, which is um, dating advice. And really, really, dating advice. You're asking me for dating advice, people. I That's, that's not a good idea at all because I really... Uh, I'm not an expert uh, about dating. I have yet to be in like a significant LTR. So um, yeah, I can't keep plants alive on my front porch. So, you know, it's, I'm definitely not one to give dating advice. However, since you ask, I will give you my perspective on dating. And I will say this, I think uh, your perspectives and your needs change uh, depending on your age. And I think the difference in age uh, year-wise between younger people, like in their teens and 20s, I think the difference between uh, 19 and 23 is a lot more uh, elaborate and a lot more um, significant than the difference between like 25 and uh, 35, or actually maybe like 35 and 45. I think, I think once you hit 30, you're kind of done with, you know, adolescence and maturity points and all of that. So... Uh, if you're in a, a serious relationship as a younger person, you know, just bear in mind, you guys are still figuring out who you are and your place in the world career-wise, college-wise. There's a lot of big decisions going on and there's a lot of transition going on. So you really do need to be patient with your partner. I think dating is a lot like shopping for clothes. You know, you're looking for the outfit that you think fits the best, is the most comfortable, the one that the, the color complements what you think you should be, more or less. And, you know, you'll put it on for a while, and for a while it, it fits and it feels good, but, you know, maybe it shrinks in the dryer, or maybe you wear, you know, holes in the elbows or something, um, and then you become less uh, enamored with it and decide, you know, you want something that's perhaps more flashy, or shows off your muscles better, or uh, is more trendy, or, you know, just younger. I don't know, this analogy has really gone awry. But um, the key to a good relationship is communication. Always, always, honest, uh, always be honest with your partner. Um, that's really, that's really the most crucial thing. If you have honesty and you have communication, hopefully, whatever problems do arise, they will be something that you can deal with uh, together. Um, I think people's expectations and timetables are different in relationships. Uh, you might be moving at a different speed than your partner, so sometimes you're playing the waiting game. And sometimes you're you're catching up, really. So just be patient and communicate, and I wish you all the best. And, you know, hey, if you know somebody, send them my way. Uh, anyway, uh, this is going to be a one-take special, no editing. Thank you guys so much for watching 5 Days, 5 Gays. Make sure you subscribe to us. Subscribe to all the guys. They're all awesome. And I will see you earlier next Thursday. Bye, everyone.